Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this where this guy is clearly in jail. So if it's a fence, if it's got bars, if it's got rings, whatever, and remove them. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the final product and here it is when I started. So I removed all of these vertical bars and I want to show you how to do it. And I also want to show you how to do the touch up after that because the first part is very, very easy to do. It's the, it's the detailed work that, that takes a little extra. So let's start from scratch and go over it step by step like I like to do. Okay, so here we go. We've got our image loaded up. The first step is always make a copy of your layer because then we, we have something to compare it to. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn the bottom layer off, but we have a copy just in case. All right, the next step here is we're going to go ahead and go into quick mask mode right here. You're going to hit, you can hit Q or you can just left click on this. When you do that, you're going to get into this quick mask mask mode and then the next step is we want to go ahead and paint out these bars so I'm gonna go ahead now and select my brush tool and what you want to do is you want to have a in this case we want to have a hard round brush is fine and I'm gonna zoom in and what you want is you want your brush to be just a little bit bigger than the thickness of the bar so I'm just gonna left click here and see okay cool also note that I am painting with black so we are using a black color and I just click there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm just gonna go right to the bottom watch this and what this has done is this is painted over the bar the whole way down now if you zoom in really really close you're gonna see that we are outside the boundaries here we're a little bit outside the bar itself and normally th that's not a big deal like you if you're doing really really super exact work it might be an issue but in this case, it's not. So I'm just going to show you the next step is I'm going to left click here on the second bar and then I'm going to go to the bottom and do the same thing by holding down the shift key. It basically just follows it in a line. So I'm going to left click here and I'm going to hold down the shift key and it's going to go right to the bottom. Now, again, this isn't perfect. If we were doing this uh, super, super carefully, I would use a thinner brush and I would paint it in uh, individually. But again, this is just to speed up and show you the technique. OK, so we'll just leave these bars in here because I just want to show you how to do it with these ones. So there we go. Now, the next step is we're going to click out of the quick mask mode. When you do that, you're going to see here the selections. But what you need to do now is you need to inverse this selection. And it's actually it's not bad, but we did kind of make it a little close to the edge on that one. But that's OK. So we want to go to select. And now we want to go to inverse. So or command shift I, depending on <laughs> Uh, if you're on a Mac or a PC, so you can also use a shortcut. So there we go. We've selected the inverse and now, and this is the critical step. We're going to go up to, um, we're going to go up to edit and we're going to go to content aware fill left click on that. And you're going to see some magic. Check this out. Okay, good. Boom. This is the preview and you will notice that those bars are gone and it has done a pretty darn good job just eyeballing it here. And again, because we went quite quickly and we used a thicker brush than we normally would, this has done a very, very good job. So I'm going to left click on apply and then I'm going to hit OK. And just like that, the fence, the bars, the rings, whatever the heck you're trying to take out of your picture are gone now if you have an eagle eye and you want to go really really detailed we could zoom in here zoom way in and then you will see that there is a little bit of a remnant like this here is obviously messed up and this part here uh, his hand is kind of we shouldn't have included that part of the hand so i'm going to show you how to make three different ways to fix this uh, two of them being my favorite the number one way is to use this tool here it's not the spot healing brush but we want to use the patch tool Watch this. I'm going to zoom in. I've selected the patch tool and I'm going to go ahead and select this part here. I'm going to just delete it bit by bit. So something like that. OK, now I'm going to I've selected it. Now I'm going to left click and I'm just going to move it to the right a little bit to what I want it to look like and then let go. When I do that and I hit select deselect, it's pretty much gone. This piece here is gone and it looks pretty darn good. I'm going to go ahead and do that for this part here. I would probably want to go to about there. I'm mean, again, it's kind of messy. And then I'll just move it a bit to the right and line up the line. Okay, gone. Select, deselect. You see what's happening here? This piece here is I missed. Move it to the right, gone. Select, deselect. You can go through that and do this, and you're going to get a pretty good 
job. You're going to do a really good job just doing this here. You're going to get a pretty good look and you're going to make it correct. So that is one of the techniques. The other one is you can actually go ahead and use a brush. And this is called low opacity um, uh, brushing. I'm going to go ahead and select my brush. Notice I'm not in quick select mode. I'm in regular mode. I'm going to go and select a soft round brush, not a hard round brush. And I'm going to make it very, very small. Let's see what size, something like that, maybe a little bigger. And then you, this is the important part. You see the flow is set to 100%. You want to set the flow to about three or four percent. And there's a reason for this because we're going to be touching up very, very delicately. And if you're on a tablet or an iPad, you don't need to worry about that because it's pressure sensitive. If you have a, a tablet, you can just sort of use your pen or your pencil and it will be very pressure sensitive. But if you don't have that, you want to make sure your flow is way down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac, and I'm going to touch this up here. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm holding that down, and when you do that, you get the eyedropper. Then I'm going to left click. So I'm selecting that white color, and then I'm just slowly kind of painting over top of it. See here how I'm doing that? I'm just getting rid of those the orangish hands, and this is a very delicate, very slow, kind of painful process, if I'm being honest with you. It takes quite a while, but if you want it to look right, this is the way to do it. So I'm just sort of painting in some white here. I'm going to get some dark, broad, darker white in there and some of that color. And you want to basically take kind of close to what you want, like to what's adjacent to it or what's contiguous, I guess the word is, the correct word is. So I'm just sort of taking color from the side and then I'm just sort of brushing it in. Now this part here would probably be part of his leg here. So again, holding down the Alt or the Option key, I'm going to select this color and then I'm going to paint that in over here on this part. So I'm just taking some of the darker colors and slowly with very low flow here. Again, very, very important, low flow, um, painting it in. And that way you're getting a perfect look. So there you go. That's how you do it. If I'm just taking a look around here, I mean, this wall could probably use a little bit of a touch up. So I would then again, I would go back into my clone tool or my patch tool part of me and I would probably just just take a little piece like that select deselect and eh, it doesn't look too bad and then this part here maybe I would take it and then select deselect it you know it's kind of randomish looking and by doing this nope missed there we go I would go a little to the left select deselect very tedious but it works and the bars are gone in this way with with low opacity flow painting and the patch tool, you can take bars or anything out, gate, rings, fences, like a professional in Photoshop. Guys, thanks for watching. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.